Hello, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of the Valder Beebe Show's That Celebrity Interview. I can hear you. Love your accent, Max Iron. Thank you so much. I love yours. Well, I thank you, and I love seeing you in <laughs> movies and in the media. You're here to talk about Condor today yes. uh, with your AT&T audience and the Valerie BB Show audience. Oh, good. So let's excite them, because I think this is exciting for them. Well, it's an exciting show. I mean, to put it simply, it's a, it's a thriller from start to finish. Um, I play Joe Turner, who's a young, idealistic, principled analyst who enters the CIA hoping to make a difference from within. However, within a couple of months of doing so, he discovers that there's a clandestine plot buried deep within the CIA uh, to ignite an anti-Islamist sentiment in order to justify an aggressive foreign policy. The only problem being is that it comes at the expense of millions of American lives and millions of foreign lives. So upon discovering this, this heinous plot, Joe's entire office and many of his friends are gunned down and he finds himself on the run being pursued by uh, career assassins. So it's, it's, a, it's a thrill ride from start to finish. Well, six days of the con based on Six Days of the Condor by James Grady, I don't remember what year that was written in because I did read that, but it's like it was written day before yesterday because it's so timely. Well, yeah, absolutely. It was so timely. And then, of course, the film Three Days of the Condor came out just following Watergate, and this is coming out in the political climate we find ourselves in today. But I, I think the themes at the heart of, of both the book, the film, and the show are pretty timeless and universal. To have a healthy suspicion. That is correct. And now I know 1973 is when uh, the book came out. Ah, okay. And, and, but that makes it so, oh God, uh, synchronistic that it's today. And you're so young. I think it came out probably before you were born. I wasn't even a thought in 1973. <laughs> See, I guessed right. Oh, no. This is amazing. And you're in this with Brendan Fraser? Uh, Br I'm in this with many, many people. We have William, William Hurt, Hurt, Mira Savino, Brendan Fraser, uh, Bob oh, Balaban. Oh, Mira Savino. Oh, she's fantastic. Our whole cast is fantastic. I was, I was, in fact, the first one to sign up to this. So it's always a little intimidating to see, uh, a little nerve-wracking to see who's going to come on board. But then to see the quality of the actors we have involved in this show come on board, oh, there's nothing better than that. Well, I'd like to ask uh, people who are doing their life's work, did you ever think this would be where you are today that you're talking about? And you have great things ahead of you, but did you ever think this is where you would be today? No, I, you know, there are certainly moments as an actor you have to pinch yourself and, and, and you know, sitting down and having a coffee, discussing a scene with William Hurt. Uh, <laughs> I can only imagine how it feels. Mind. And, 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 you know, you learn so much. I'm a young guy, and you learn so much from watching him work. Uh, what do you want to take in, into your career from this experience? Because every experience simply takes you to the next experience. What do you want to take? That's a difficult, interesting question. I, I don't know. To, to, it's funny. When you're, when you're a young guy, there, there, there's, especially when you're, when you're coming off... The, the, the film, the 1975 film, was a, was a cult success. Robert Redford is, is one of the most charismatic, skilled, uh, talented actors around. And there's always a, a pressure to, to, to emulate or, or to incorporate bits and pieces from another person's performance. I think that's a mistake. Uh, I think you have to learn to trust your gut, trust your instincts, for better or for worse. Whether that leads you to victory or failure is neither here nor there. You have to listen to yourself and go with your gut. Uh, and, I, and I think playing Joe Turner on, on a 10-hour television show such as this, you really have to do that. Uh, and I think that's a lesson I hope to take forward. 
Well, that's a great way to put lesson learned. I'd love for my audience to glean something from my interview with celebrities so that it can be about them also and not just about the celebrity. Okay, so we got this coming up. When do you want us to watch it? We know we're going to watch it on AT&T audience. When do you want us to watch? It's 10 p.m. Uh, ET on the 6th of June. But if you if you miss that for whatever reason, you can then also go to the DirecTV uh, Go app and watch it at your convenience when and where you fancy it. You know, we watch TV all kinds of ways That's these it. days. You know, Max Iron, thank you for being on the Valder BB Show, and thanks for inspiring my audience, because I want them to go after their dreams, because it seems like you're living your dream. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Thanks for being my guest, and we will be watching. All right. Enjoy.